What is up, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Today we are doing some more Dead Rising 2. So, it's been a minute. It's been about a week since I've really made a gameplay video. Since I uploaded the last episode of Dead Rising 2 where we beat multiple psychopaths and even just uh, made good progress in general. But, there's not exactly much to do right now. So we're gonna go kill some zombies, maybe look around for some zombricks, maybe... See if we can do a few things to make the time go by, because I want to get just some additional gameplay in there. Maybe talk to you guys for a few. Get you guys to understand, in case y'all don't remember, that I'm not exactly 100% going to be consistent when it comes to my uploading schedule. A lot of the time. I had a feeling there was going to... Oh my god, yes. We have been blessed, ladies and gentlemen. Um, yeah, no, we're good. But we have been blessed. This is insane. Now, before we go do this mission, I want to get some health. So I'm going to go pick up some stuff. Like some orange juice, some food, this and that. Now, once again. Oh shit. Alright. Give me that orange juice. There's some more orange juice over here. We're going to grab that. But like I was saying before I got cut off because, you know, my mind runs a million miles a fucking hour. I'm never going to be um, really, really consistent when it comes to uploading. I just feel like maybe I'm not exactly happy doing that. So I like uploading whenever I'm happy and feel like I want to upload. Because there's just some days that go by I feel depressed. I, I feel this. I feel that. Sometimes I just need a couple days because me and my autistic self, we're just a big ball of who knows what the hell's going to happen today because that's pretty much what it feels like. I never know how I'm going to feel one day. Nobody does. But for me, it's so mixed up. The bag is so insane with so many options that who knows. I'd say I'm feeling pretty content today, though. I'm feeling pretty good. So I wanted to make some more progress in Dead Rising 2. I, I, I need to get this series finished up eventually here if it wasn't a um a series where you had to put a strange amount of fucking time into it i feel like we would have gotten done with it a lot quicker it probably would have been a longer series as well if um fucking i would have started from level one instead of level 50 and just doing a new game plus because i didn't remember how to reset the game on Steam. But regardless, it's fine. We're here now. Whatever choices we whatever choices I've made. Can't really make much of a comeback from. Just whatever happens, happens, you know? And you gotta stick with it and be happy with it. So this is our next psychopath battle right here. Let's do this shit. That is a vile act of homicide right there. That is... I need to be careful with this guy, too, because his shots suck. Like, if he shoots you, he can make you drop weapons, and that really sucks. Luckily, we're level 50, so this guy is going to be our bitch today. Oh, I love this song, though. Hold on. 
I don't know if y'all can hear it because my volume's uh, quite low for you guys. That way you can hear everything like this. But it's Cell Dweller, I believe you, and it is a awesome fucking song. Go check that shit out. He's such a bitch, though. Like, you're dead already, bro. You know, <laughs> you know, the, the, that's kind of, that's just cheesy. That's just so cheesy. I will be taking your six shooter, though. So, I'm going to go save this dude, because he was hiding from, get the hell off me. But he was, like, hiding from a dep like, the deputy, dude. Bro. I'm about to say, what are you doing? Anyway, how you doing, buddy? Please stay quiet, or Mr. Spaghetti Western out there will hear us. I'm staying here. It's too dangerous with that cowboy dude running around. You don't have to worry about him anymore. I can take you somewhere much safer if you follow me. What? You defeated Mr. High Noon? That's quite a feat. Are you some kind of an action star? You do look familiar. Awesome. Alright. I'm gonna eat this just to, you know, get full health. Even though it's probably not. I'm gonna take these. Fuck it. Damn. That's actually a dope-ass look, Chuck. You look like you've been slaying zombies all day. And did I have... Are you good? Okay, no, nah, he's with me. Alright, so now we're going to, um... Go give Katie some Zombrex. I tried to kick him, but... It just didn't work well, to be honest. Let's go. But no, when you're level 50 and you replay through this game, it is so much easier. I guess that's something I didn't really mind when I started the playthrough. Is I didn't want to have to struggle. Because if you get used to this game on a higher difficulty, it's fun. But if you try to restart from the beginning after beating this game many times, it's like, oh, it's so boring. And I feel like my motivation would be even worse. And we don't want that. Because my motivation on this channel fluctuates as it is. So I don't want to not like play a game I'm not interested in playing. So I think I made a good decision just sticking with it. Now, later on down the line, even though I've made a video on Dead Rising 3, I would like to beat it on camera. Because it is, uh, even though a lot of people talk shit about it, say this is the game where Dead Rising started to die. I don't know, man. I think Dead Rising 3 was actually really fun. I really enjoyed Dead Rising 3. I think the gameplay was fun, the graphics were great. The soundtracks for when you got into battles with psychopaths were amazing. The, the fights themselves with psychopaths were fun. The fact you can craft weapons on the spot because you're a... Uh, oh my goodness. I think um, the dude you play as, I don't remember his name, but I believe he's like an engineer or something. So he can just craft shit on the spot. He's great, man. Like, I, I really am not seeing a big issue... When it comes down to why people hate the game so much, honestly, I can't see it. I really can't. Oh, yeah. Oh, can I drop kick? Hold on, hold on, hold on. Oh, yes, I can. Unfortunately, my, um... My little blade here. I don't know what this one's called. But it looks like it's on the verge of breaking here soon. Which is not good. I also need to kill more zombies. Because I at least want to be over the 1000 mark by the end of the game. I know I'll get there. But 748 for as far as I, far in as I currently am. I don't know. I, just, I think that's a little disappointing. A little lackluster. And we need to up those numbers. And we will. Thank God I didn't over-talk that, because I would have completely forgot about uh, the Survivor Ray. Because 
This has happened twice in a few past playthroughs on this game. I was talking, got distracted, and I forgot the survivors. Glad to be somewhere safe now. Thank you. Yeah, you're so welcome, sir. Absolutely. So, I'm gonna save real quick because I do that after achieving a lot of missions to just kind of not have to worry about doing them again. Or in case I get busy and it's like, fuck, I gotta go AFK and it's a while or something, you know. It's kind of just like that. So, now, I don't have much to do. I think we're going to go kill some zombies, waste some time. Because, like I said, we, we got to up those numbers, you know. Got to up those zombie numbers. Got a bunch of weapons to use, and I haven't used them too often, so. I think there's a drill somewhere. I need to make another combo weapon here pretty soon that I haven't made yet. It's like a one-time use. Well, it's not even a one-time use. You can use it on a bunch of different zombies, but you have to pick it up after using it just once. And it gets a little annoying. Yep. Let's get to 800 zombies at the moment. Oh, let's get this crowd of zombies over here. This is where we need to be right now. Let's gonna burn. Let's burn them. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Burn these bitches alive. Oh, yeah. Look at that. The numbers are going up. Oh, yeah. 802. That's good for a moment. That's good for a moment. Now, once again, I don't have a mission to do right now. We just got to wait for Katie Zombrex, which is at 8 a.m., it's currently in-game. Oh my god, he scared the shit out of me. But it's currently 5.55 a.m. in the game. Is it 5.55? Oh, it's like in the morning. Chuck, homie, you need some sleep. Why did I just say that? Why did I just say homie? I don't know. I don't know. I guess it's because I'm starting to become one of those cool kids. No, I'm really not. That is the biggest of lies. I have to give it to her. Oh, between 7 a.m. and 8 a.m. So I gotta wait like an hour, which... I don't know. That's maybe like not even a few minutes. Might as well get... Let's get to 850 kills. You know, get some more zombies up in here. Up those numbers. Because that's something we like here on the channel. We like big numbers. We love big numbers. Luckily, I can make a baseball bat on the way back, or a spiked bat, because this one is going to break. Got 823 at the moment. Maybe we could shoot for 900. Oh, dude, there's... There is one weapon that's, like, good for farming these guys, too. I'm gonna go make it. Oh, this sword's really low. You know, the broadsword... Oh, yes. Yes. Fuck y'all. Boom. 849 so far. That's actually great. All right, I need to pick up this wheelchair because that's a necessity right now for the weapon we're about to make. We put it over here, and I believe it is this, right? A battery, yep. Yeah. This is an awesome combination weapon. Yeah. Absolutely amazing. You push them on there, the zombies will sit in it. Oh, you fry these fuckers. Yep, sit in the chair, sir. Thank you. Oh, yes. Look at this, dude. Now, its durability is all dependent on how much zombies you hit or kill. We're going to get the 900 right now. We are upping these numbers. Oh, look at that. Oh! Yes, sir. We did that. 900 zombies. Now, we should probably get back to Katie. Because it is currently 628. As you can see, time goes by pretty fast in this damn game. It goes by quite fast. We also have five Zombrex, which is a good number of Zombrex to have. 
and this bitch is biting my dick. Oh my god. It's already 8 6.33 now. I think it's been not even a minute and it's already went up by like 3. Shit if I know. I'm not 100% paying attention to be quite honest. I'm just so hyper today. I'm in a I'm in a pretty content mood. I don't know. I'm a ball of just random. I don't know what the hell my life even is at this point. I just like recording, having a good time. Making the time go by. That's something else we're good for doing on this channel. Making time go by. You want to just make time go by? Sit your ass down and watch some of my videos as entertaining as they possibly can be. I guess it's all subjective in the end, ain't it? How entertaining my content is to someone. Because there's probably some people out there who look at my videos and are like, Man, this shit's actually entertaining. This guy's a decent quality gamer. And then you got uh, some people be like, Holy shit, he's actually ass. And I agree. I am dog shit. 100%. Shut up, Richard. Alright, so it is now 644. Time is going to fly by, right? 6.45. We gotta wait like 15 minutes. My, I guess we could run around like the safe house real quick. Drop this broadsword. You You're fucking welcome. I don't care. Got Luz. You got Ray. Sven. Chad. Chad. Oh, this guy. Brian. Who the fuck is Brian? Oh, he's one of the nerd dudes. Along with Curtis and... Jared, how are you doing, dude? I know you're gonna need Zombrix eventually. This dude got bit. And I think these dudes should get the hell away from him just to be safe, you know? Just in case this man were to turn at any time. Well, at least the safe house is thriving with survivors right now. That is until later when some shit hits the fan. But I'm sure a lot of ongoing Dead Rising 2 enjoyers will understand that it's like... Yeah, we know exactly what happens, and I'm surprised that barely any of the survivors, I don't think any of them die if you do it nice and quick, which is a miracle. We are getting there, though. You will see the mission I'm talking about. It is quite annoying. Now we're going to give Katie some Zombrex. It's okay. Look, she's not turning. This happened to my sister once. It's that damn drug. Your sister? She used to have to deal with Zombrex, too. Used to? She couldn't take it anymore. Everything in her life revolving around that drug. One day, she just let herself... I'm sorry. There's talk of finding a cure someday. Isabella Keys was looking for it. Wasn't she one of the terrorists in Willamette? No, her brother was the terrorist. He was angry, taking revenge for a government experiment that caused all of this in the first place. Isabella tried to help. She worked with Frank West to make the first inhibitor, using Queens. Well, I hope she's still looking. Now, I'm going to be honest here. I think there already is a cure, just not in this timeline here, because I don't remember shit about Dead Rising 4, because, you know, it's it's alright. I think it has some fun gameplay to it, but I will agree with a lot of people. It does not feel like a Dead Rising game. But, if I'm correct, isn't, like, Frank safe, even though he was bitten in the first game? Like, he doesn't need that medicine anymore, so I believe there already is a cure. But I could be wrong. I don't know much of the lore about Dead Rising 4, so someone's going to have to fill me in if they have knowledge of it, of, of course. But 
But I do think Katie will end up being okay because she does make it to Dead Rising 3. So we're doing this mission called Bank Run. What is this? We gotta go to the Slot Ranch Casino. Because we have to wait until case 5 1, which is Stakeout. What is Stakeout? Um. Need to get... Oh, that's where we see the helicopter and eventually... Okay. And eventually go, like, head to head with the helicopter. Well, I guess until then, uh, side missions or just doing whatever is something we can focus on doing for now. Which does not seem to be much of a problem for me. What was that? Oh, we actually have more uh, looter dudes. Bitch. I'm gonna kill y'all upstairs real quick, too. Where are ya? Best weapon in the game. I'm just kidding. I don't know. I think this weapon, it's good. This combo weapon, but... I think it's a little excessive, don't you think? I do think it's dope, though. It's a nice weapon. We're gonna kill these guys, too. Die. It does have good reach, too. Goody, goody. Oh, we need a flashlight and gems. Because I'm making a lightsaber. I think that's a really good one, too. I just missed that zombie entirely. So we're gonna go make um, two combo weapons real quick. Yeah, I think it's okay. Now we need uh, the drill and this right here. The spear. And we're going to make a interesting... Actually, we can make a third one too. The one I was talking about where you can use it once but then you'd have to pick it up each time. It's a bucket and a drill. As you can see, it looks like a hat. You put it on a zombie, and I think you have an idea what possibly happened. And then you drop it, and you have to keep picking it back up. I'm using it twice. I'm just showcasing it, to be honest. There we go. Anyway, into the slot ranch casino. We have our lightsaber. Alright, into the slot ranch casino now. Bank run. I think this dude just goes around to the... He tells me to follow him. And he, like, steals cash from the ATMs. Pretty scummy fucker, to be honest. But he does give us a money reward for helping him out. So, I guess it's worth it for now. Quit biting my dick. Hey, buddy, what the hell do you think you're doing? Prudency, young man. It's just over one day's time the military will rescue us from this perfectly good money. Oh, my God. I can't read because I'm being molested. I'm not being molested, but I'm certainly being attacked here. All right. We can't let the cash in these ATMs go to waste. So we're going to pocket it before anything happens. I can't read this. I'm more focused on the walking dead, to be honest. I am so sorry. My goodness. Alright. Hurry up and talk to me so you can loot your shit, man. I'm, I'm skipping his chat. Because this is ridiculous. I'm going to kick your ass. I'm going to, like, drop kick him. I swear to God. Alright. Die. Alright. Don't worry. There's no SOBs on you, bro. I took him out. I'm going to break it, though. I should have done this already to the other one as well, so I can get a little bit of uh, extra in-game pocket money. 
Time is not wasting. We have plenty of time. Are you walking? Your time's wasting, and you're walking on a backwards escal on a. Is it an escalator? I don't know, and I don't care. I'm actually stupid. But we got a red one now, and he's dropping money. I love this man, bro. Just giving us rewards every step of the way. Oh, there's a, there's a hundred right there. You know what I could do with the hundred real life dollars? I could get McDonald's over ten times. All right, come on, get your money. And I'm gonna break it and get twenty five hundred for myself. Twenty six hundred. Let me be correct, cause you keep dropping money for me, cause you're such a nice guy, bro. He's such a friendly man. He can't help but just to help us with our money troubles in this game. I'm going to take you all out real quick. I love this lightsaber, though. Alright. Alright, let's do that. Now nah, I'm breaking it. Money! Now let's get this man back to the safe house. There's an extra $100 right there. And just because I'm not like him, we're going down the right path this way to save time. That sucks. You know, just a casual usage of the shotgun. I need to make more combo weapons. Ow. Anyway. Let's get this man back to the safe house. Now, I don't know exactly what else much to say at the moment. My brain kind of hit a plateau. And... I have to think of more ways to create commentary because my brain is now running out of juice, running out of energy, which sucks, honestly. That's just something bad about me when it comes to YouTube videos. I get so excited in the beginning and then my brain goes down, it gets slower, and it's like, you know, we don't know what to do anymore at this point. Follow me. Ah, shit. Well, I guess we're killing a few of these dudes real quick. Looters defeated. We're almost there. I don't know how long we have to wait for the stakeout mission, though. That I'm not sure. This is a very strong weapon. <laughs> I am destroying them. Keep moving. I also believe this guy gives me... I, I think I already said this. I don't know for sure. Because, my, like I said, my brain runs at a million miles a fucking hour. But I think this guy gives me a reward for saving him, too. And it's a decent amount of money. This weapon is very interesting. It doesn't feel like much, but... It gets the job done. It's an enjoyable enjoyable weapon to use. And its durability is pretty good too. I do like its durability. And it looks cool. Kinda. Boom, you know what I'm saying? I need to use this eventually. I'm gonna save this for uh, the helicopter with TK though. Cause I, I don't know if that does much damage to it or not, but we shall see. I give him many thanks to money we took, I mean collected. Today will be put to good, very good use. Just so you don't think I'm greedy. Here's a little something for your help. Yep, yep, yep. I figured he's going to get me some cash. 50000 Amazing. Absolutely spectacular, honestly. Now, here's the unfortunate thing as of right now. Because I don't think we have much else to do right now. So I'm going to have to pause, or not really pause, but I'm just going to have to sit here for a minute, 
wait for a mission to pop up. We be patient, we see what happens, and I edit out the bullshit later. So I'm on the roof, which is where uh, the mission happens. But I'm not doing anti-up because I fucking hate po- Oh, shit. Didn't I just mention that? Didn't I just fucking mention that? Oh my goodness, I'm actually getting missions out the ass now. Okay, we need to hurry up and get the Jared though, because this man is about to die. Oh my god, where are they coming from? Where are the missions coming from? I just got back from the bathroom. I sit down and I'm like, well, nothing's really happening. Might as well go right on, wait on the rooftop. Nah, the game's like, fuck you, dude. I'm going to give you everything right now. And now I'm freaking out. Because there's so much on my plate. I know, I know. Huh? Move your ass. I got you, homie. Bro, I don't feel so good. I came to the party not to freaking eat the party, man. <laughs> well, don't worry. I got you. You're good. I just saved his life. You are welcome. So, what should I do here? I'm, I'm, we got Slave to Fashion and Shell Shock. I'm not doing anti up. This one's in the Fortune City Hotel. Oh, I know what this one is. And this one. These both kind of, you can't really do these together. So I'm going to hurry up and get Shell Shocked over with. Because it's so slow. I hate it. It's, it's such a shitty mission. It really is. Well... No, I'm gonna do shell shock. Fuck it. Anything to make the time go by because I've been waiting for what at least feels like 15, 30 minutes. Maybe not that long. Oh my god. No, I'm not doing that one either. <laughs> I don't like poker. I, I suck at poker. So, stop! Stop! Stop giving me so many. I know I wanted things to do, but I didn't want this much to do. My lord. Boom. Oh, that is that was a beautiful shot. The way I just knocked her down. Oh yeah, that's... Oh my lord. So, this mission... Honestly sucks. We're gonna do this though. Okay, <laughs> I didn't press it quick enough. Fuck it, it was worth a shot. Oh boy, alright. But no, that wasn't too bad. I think I'm gonna do a few of these side missions though and end the episode. Or maybe not, I don't know. Alright, what's up, Dean? Who the hell are you? Get this... Name's the Rainbow Rank Soldier. If you're one of them, infiltrate it. Blah, blah, blahs. I'm on your side. There ain't no safety. Not with all of America's enemies lurking. I, I don't care about reading you, bro. Perfect. That was a bad shot. Headshot. 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 Oh god, they're climbing! Oh, we're hitting zombies today! Alright. Oh my lord. Money! Oh my god, what is going on with the missions? There's so much shit going on. 
I mean, in the in the land of content, this is amazing, but just out of nowhere like this, it's insane. Take out some zombies, get some kills on my plate. We got over a thousand today, though. I'm gonna shoot more. While we wait for this guy and his injured self, he's too much of a. Um, He's too much of, like, I'm a independent kind of guy to freaking get any help. Which is really stupid, but hey. At least he's almost here. Oh my goodness. So while we wait for him, right? Slave to fashion. Yep. I'm gonna do Slave the Fashion first, because that one's pretty easy. Just gotta show up and save a chick in our, in our boxers, you know. Although I am sad, I like the outfit we put on. It was nice while it lasted. This way. I want 1,050, real quick. Boom. Like I said, we're getting some kills right now. Keep close. We need more zombie kills than a game like Dead Rising. Stick to me. Oh my god. You slow ass. I'm not healing him. He does not deserve it at all. That's what he gets for being a hard ass. Like, he could have accepted my help and we could have been at the safe house by now. But no, bro's like, fuck it. I want to do it on my own. Blah, blah, blah. Little whiny bitch doesn't want to get supported. It's too much for him to handle. He'll feel insecure about it. You know, definitely... Nah, let's hurry up and get this shit over with, because you obviously have things to do. You have people to save and things to accomplish. Just wait for me. I'll be another 45 minutes, maybe an hour, because of how fucking slow I am. That's what this guy feels like. It's so... Oh my god. I think the developers deserve to be smacked in the face for this one. Like, Capcom... Whoever's running Capcom, I don't know. You deserve to get smacked with the used condom. You're terrible for letting this shit slide, waiting for this slow-ass fucker. Just because he got his leg taken out. Come on, bro. Could have given this man a piggyback ride, anything. Nah, bro. I'm actually mad at this. I'm not that mad. I'm not that mad. It's like... It's a... It's not like rage mad. It's not like I'm gonna flip my shit and break my laptop. It's fucking confused mad. So, in case you uh, got curious about the weird cut there, um, I just had to go somewhere for uh, a minute uh, because my grandma wanted me to run to the corner for her. I'm exhausted already because I just ran. So, we're still waiting for Dean's slow ass because, you know, that hasn't changed. I'm still very disappointed Capcom was like, no, nah, you can't even get put his shoulder around your shoulder. You gotta let him walk. Like, I think that is so fucking stupid. But whatever, right? Alright. Good. We get him out of here and we never worry about him again. Never. Ever. Ever am I worrying about him again. Thank you, man. you suck. You actually suck. Oh my god. I've never hated a survivor more. I should have killed him, but I didn't because I'm a good civilian. I'm a good person, you know? So fucking, of course I didn't kill him, but I, oh, I wanted to. 
So one hit wonder, uh, we're not doing this one yet. We're doing uh, Slave to Fashion. Yeah. Wait, fuck, I should have thought about this. So I guess I sh should have went into the bathroom. We got to strip into our boxers because this girl we're about to save is trapped in her bra and panties and we need to make her feel comfortable. So we have to be in our boxers when we confront her or else, shit, I don't know. There we go. Hello? Turn the light. So in case you wondered why there was like a weird cut last night. Um, I had a friend walk in. Or it wasn't even last night. I think it was like two nights ago and I haven't gotten back to finishing the episode. But here I am back at it again. Uh, with an awkward cut. It is now <laughs> April 19th. And I think I was recording this on the 17th. I, I don't remember for sure. But I wanted to do a few more missions before the episode officially ended. I already have over an hour's worth of footage, which really fucking sucks. What is bent wood? Holy shit. Has a proposition. I know exactly what to do, so we can get that right away. If we go into the one area where we see some looters, where we can get the orange juice, and there's like the sports gear, and the golf club, and this and that. Get her a golf club. And I think she either gives you money or experience for it. One or the other. Yep, and of course, the um, looters are in here. Time to kill some looters, man. Where you at? That's a zombie. Yeah. You bitch. We're gonna take this. Cause that's gonna come in handy for later. We gotta hurry up and get this chick, by the way. Cause Slave to Fashion is now officially on red. As much as I'd love to mess around and just simply fuck up. I think right now we have more important matters at hand. Which is exactly what we're about to do. Luckily, even though it's on red, I think we still have plenty of time to get to get it done. We just gotta head over to uh, the hotel because that's where um, you have to save this chick. She's pretty much just stranded there. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Why? 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 I don't know why, man. Oh, that sucks. That sucks so bad. I forgot that those fuckers existed. So obviously I skipped the cutscene. Let me give you an explanation on who they are. A bunch of rednecks, four of them, with snipers. <laughs> This is awful. You can hear the music for him. I gotta keep jumping or else I'm dead. See, there's Big Earl. We're gonna have to take care of them later, too. Yo, I am getting eaten alive right now. Oh, my lord. This is brutal. This is a brutal way to reopen the game at, like, 11 in the morning. I think it's like, no, it's like 10 something, like 1040 something. I just jumped on a table. Anyway. Hello. Are you okay? Oh my God, like, don't look at me. Sorry, I'm just trying to help. Oh my God, this is like totally embarrassing. This is like a total tragedy. What happened? Like, I was in my hotel room, I went to get some ice, and the stupid door locked behind me. I came down and this place was totally zombified. A zombie outbreak started, but come with me, I can get you to safety. Are you, like, drunk or some junk? I can't go out there like this. What are you talking about? You cannot stay here. Look, what if a cute guy or, like, a hunky prize fighter or a hot movie star or something sees me? I would, like, totally die. Whatever, okay? If I wasn't, like, the only one doing it, I'll tell you that. I'll totally go with you if you were wearing just your underwear. Oh, hey, look at that. Here I am. I don't care. I don't care. Anyway, I'm in my underwear too. See? Yep. That's hot. Yeah, I sure feel hot. Let's get going. Alright. No, no, 
Come on, like, let's go already. All right, she has to touch the floor because he has to piggyback this chick. Um, the floor is like really cold. Could you carry me? Yeah. Sick. No, no. Well, I can make another one. I don't know. I guess the spike bat isn't that important. Now I'm worried because if I'm, in, I'm I go outside, am I gonna get shot with the sniper dropper and I'm gonna get bitten? I don't know. I don't want to. I have to take those fuckers out soon. And the worst thing is, I have a few missions I want to do before the episode uh, completely ends. Because even though the video is going to be, like, a certain length, um, I have over an hour and 30 minutes recorded from the two abstinences I had. And the fact I had a friend just, like, randomly burst in my door. Please don't shoot me. Please don't shoot me. Holy crap, they did not shoot me. That is so... That is good RNG right there. That is some positivity in my mind right now. I did not get shot by a sniper. They suck, too. They absolutely fucking suck. But that's all good. Stakeout's getting pretty low, too. I think, actually, as much as I want to do... No, I'm gonna do more. I'm gonna do more. We have a little bit of time. I just randomly stopped moving. I was holding the W key, but you know. Dead Rising 2 supposedly has a mind of its own because it knows if it wants to stop or not. So yeah, we're taking her back. Gonna give uh, Liz her golf club so he can get the bent wood uh, mission completed. No one to fold them. We're not doing that. <laughs> Those are like, that's like one of the only ones. That one and anti up are like the only two I'm not doing. Or I'm not going to try to do. Now, one thing I do enjoy about carrying survivors is it's a lot easier to get them back and forth. Because if they walk on their own, their AI could just be so fucking stupid it's hard to tell um, if you're going to have a good time or a bad time. But if you carry your survivor like I'm carrying Europa here, I think that's how you pronounce her name, it's like they just stick with you. It's not hard to keep them on you you know it's so easy and it makes it feel much more enjoyable to get through the game unfortunately oh my god the zombies might not have killed me but the embarrassment my you're like two years older than me anyway obviously gotta save it oh wait we don't gotta save yet we might as well get this out of the way because i think liz is in here hello liz how you doing liz I lost my favorite club. Oh no, it's a shame. I hope you get a new one. I hope you do so bad. You're so fucking welcome. <laughs> I'm such a nice guy. Now. Oh, I got money. I don't know why that happens so late though. That's a little strange, ain't it? Now, obviously. Yo, I just wasted my stake. I don't. I didn't even hit the. I might have hit the E button actually. I don't know. So what is art appreciation? You know what? We can end the episode with art appreciation. We can do this. We got this. This should be self-explanatory. Just go up to a guy, save him, bring him back to the safe house. Boom, job done, and I can end the episode. Now, because of Europa, I dropped my baseball bat. So, I'm going to make a new one. Another spiked bat. Now, if I'm correct, Art Appreciation is in the Palisades Mall. Which, we have a shortcut there. Thanks to a chick we saved earlier on in the playthrough. So, this is going to be a little easy. It's going to be pretty easy to get to him. Because as you can see, time's ticking. The bar's in red. So, if I had to walk all the way there, yeah, this would be a problem. But, thank God for shortcuts that are made throughout the playthrough. I gotta up those numbers more, too. In the next episode, I'm gonna try to reach, like, 1,500. Now I go in here. Into the Palisades Mall. I really like that shortcut. That is like a game changer right there. It makes it so easy to just go back and forth. 
Because if I'm correct, I think Palisades Mall by walking alone is one of the... Oh my god. It's one of the more difficult places to reach if you're trying to be uh, time preservant, I guess. I think that's the word I'm looking for. I don't know. I obviously got to get a new outfit because we do not have Europa anymore. I mean, we can look at the magazines real quick. What is this? Gambling, fuck you. Combat. Horror. What is horror? I don't need that. What is this? Sports? No. Yeah, it was kind of a waste coming in here, to be honest. Oh, no. There's something I'm grabbing real quick. Hold on. We gotta get the shoddy. That's right. That's what... Oh! Ow. I have been bit. Luckily, Chuck is immune because he's a fucking... Goaded man, bro. All my life's work for nothing. I'm such a failure. Hello, Randolph. Hey, buddy, are you okay? Do I look okay? This is my life's work. This was my first pain to make it into a gallery. Now no one will ever buy it. Listen, I'm sorry about that, but it's not safe out here if you follow me. No, no, you don't understand. It's not worth going on. If, such, if I'm such a failure, if no one buys it, then I'll die. You're kidding, right? I think you got your priorities. 3,000 bucks. 3,000 bucks? Man's greedy. Alright. Uh, we're gonna give this guy a weapon. Uh, I just saw... Where is it? Here, have this. Um... Fuck you! Anyway, we're gonna keep going. keep going. Dude clearly didn't- Oh my god. Get off my dick. Don't fall behind, Don't fall behind Randolph. It'd be highly shameful if he did, and it'd be a huge waste of time. This way. Keep it moving. Stick with me. Oh my god, Randolph, you actually suck. You suck! Get these fuckers out my way. <laughs> There's so many. Oh, my broadsword broke. Oh, yeah. Stranded Siren. I can do that later. That's not too hard. We can do that in the next episode. We also got one hit wonder, which is... Uh... I don't remember what one that is. Oh! Oh, it's Bibby. My bad. I'm stupid. Yeah, I know exactly what that is. Exactly, I do. Uh, I believe that's uh, Bibby, which is technically a psychopath. Because she has, like, people strapped to a table with bombs underneath the table, and she has to watch her for her performance or some shit. I don't know. Fucking nut job, but you can actually save her. Which, by the way, that's fucking insane. Why would you save someone that just put people's lives in danger like that? Keep it moving. I think that's just pretty nuts. Come on, Randolph. Keep it moving. I don't even know if I did anything important in this episode. I might have, but I don't recall doing so. This game is just really long, too, so... You just gotta, like, wait for something to happen, and then it eventually happens, but... Sometimes you just gotta wait hours just for anything to happen. You can go kill zombies, make combo weapons... My first paycheck, thanks to you. I found my fortune and fortune. Well, you're welcome. I'm glad I could assist you, sir. Nah, we're gonna save. We might as well. And then we're gonna end the episode because this is gonna go on too long. This might be like an hour long. Maybe more. I don't know. But this was episode 7 of Dead Rising 2. Did some... I think we did quite a bit today. I don't remember what we did the last time I played because I haven't overlooked the video, but I figured, hey, might as well get uh, finish up what I started, and I did. So yeah, if you liked it, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. If you enjoyed, dislike. If you didn't, it's up to you. I don't really care. It's your decision. And um, feel free to share it around with friends. Do whatever.
that's all I got to say. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you all in the next video.